Trump indictment. What happened when other countries prosecuted ex-leaders? Although Donald Trump is the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges, many other former leaders in other countries have also been charged with crimes. Surprisingly, some of these leaders have even returned to power despite facing prosecution. So. Who are these notable former leaders who have faced charges, and what were the outcomes of their cases? Thailand Yinbluk. Yinbluk used to be the leader of Thailand. She was accused of not stopping corruption and losing a lot of money in a program that gave money to farmers who grew rice. The military took over the government in 2014, and she was later punished for her part in the program. She said that the punishment was not fair because the government just wanted to get rid of her. Before she was sentenced, she left Thailand secretly in 2017. She was found guilty, even though she wasn't there, and was given five years in jail. Yindluk's brother Thaksin, who was also a prime minister of Thailand, was removed from power by the military in 2006. Follow news, learn English. One. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen declared the relationship between the United States and Taiwan is strong amid unprecedented challenges in the Indo-Pacific region. Two. Fact-checking reveals that in his first address after being indicted, former President Donald Trump made many false claims. Three. The indictment against former President Trump reveals key lines and takeaways. Former President Trump pleads not guilty to 34 felony counts related to falsifying business records. Four. A federal appeals court denies former President Trump's emergency bid to prevent ex-aides from testifying in the January 6th investigation. Five. The Biden administration is preparing to declare that the Wall Street Journal reporter who was arrested in Russia is wrongfully detained. Six. First Lady Jill Biden will attend the coronation of King Charles III, according to an announcement from the White House. Seven. A federal judge rules that the construction of the Willow Project can move forward while environmental groups' lawsuits continue. Eight. Key Democratic senators are proposing that Supreme Court funding be tied to an ethics code for the justices. Nine. Some people who have been accused of crimes have been able to return to positions of power despite facing prosecution. Ten. During a training exercise. FBI and Army soldiers entered the wrong hotel room and detained a guest who was staying there. Eleven. A storm system that caused the deaths of five people in Missouri is now threatening severe weather for 50 million Americans. Twelve. The Federal Reserve predicts that approximately 1.5 million people could lose their jobs by the end of the year. 13. There are heavy battles taking place in Bakhmut as Russia tries to gain full control of the area, according to a Ukrainian soldier.